car looks serious. <laughs> All right. A day in the life of the labs. Rolling. Action. Hi, everybody. Um, Kelly let me know that Serena had nominated the labs for one of these A Day in the Life of videos. So I thought that'd be a great opportunity to talk about what we do, um, what a typical day looks like for the labs and the labs mentors. Um, and I set out to do that last Thursday. I filmed around the office a little bit, as you'll see, popped down to Open Lab uh, here at the East Liberty Library, and you know, showed a few things that, that go on on a typical day. It's the end of the summer, things are kind of slow, but I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea about what we do. Um, just a little overview for those of you who haven't had the chance to hear a whole lot about the lab so far. Um, we're what is known as a learning lab program. Um, it kind of takes some of these elements of a makerspace, digital media lab, these different kind of um, new services that are being envisioned for libraries um, that are percolating, especially for teenagers. Um, what we do is pair uh, mentors who can be librarians, library assistants, artists who we've brought in from outside to work in the library to really work with teenagers on project-based informal workshops and provide also what we call the open lab, which is just the context for you know, what's being learned in a workshop, um, skills from school everywhere that can be applied to these projects that you know, we try to gear back toward the community, um, the library, ways that they can you know, help out and get involved where they live. We bring in community partners for programming as well and they are often, you know, come in as the experts. You know, we're the co-learners and people who can get teenagers started, um, just like librarians always have, we're connecting them to good resources and information and getting them set on this path. Um, the community experts from, from groups such as Tech Shop and Pittsburgh Filmmakers, Youth Media can come in and, you know, really show, I do this for a job, this is, this is something you can think about. Um, and it's been a really great thing. We're at about two years right now and figuring things out all the time. We're about to start labs and location programming, which is going to mean we'll bring a lab's experience to all CLP locations, do some training with staff to get them more comfortable with this kind of thing, and um, offer these programming kits, which you'll see a bit about um, in today's video. I shot the video using our filmmaking kit, one of these programming kits that teen specialists can request. We've got this handy uh, kind of shoulder support rack um, that I've used and it's been pretty fun. So this camera, uh, sort of how to use it, the tripod, lighting, all this kind of stuff's available. Um, this is the kind of thing that we really want to, you know, spread around the system and as always your, your feedback and ideas are really welcome. If you have any questions, reach out to me or one of the lab's mentors. Thank you. What are you guys working on? Um, we have been looking through some of the new music kits and um, workshop designs that Jesse has been coming up with for music related workshops for labs on location. Great. So now we're looking at music apps on the iPads. So, um, so let, let, me, let me show you some of my favorites on here. This is an app called Figure, and it's sort of a finger painting approach to music making that you can sort of set up the rules for your song and then just sort of play it by touch. And you can change the sounds as you want and decide how often they appear, but the actual playing part is something that you don't have to have a lot of musical background to do. So this is a nice sort of introductory instrument for people who want to mess around with different so sounds but don't 
you know, haven't taken lessons before. So this is our storage room, OPP. Got all of the teen services stuff over here, labs, supplies, and all of our outreach and labs programming kits that we're about to um, show off next week at the teen services meeting. So today is going to be the first soft opening of Labs on Location at Homewood. Um, we're going to go to teen time from 4.30 to 6.30 and do some music related activities. This is the soft circuit kit that Amalia put together that I'm going to be taking to uh, Allegheny Branch today. So she was just uh, giving me some of the finer points on how to use it. Cool. Well, this is the sweet demo board where you can understand how circuits work. How can it be? And how the materials in this kit fit together to make um, different kinds of effects with LED lights. Um, and there's lots of information in the kit about different activities and projects that you can do with it, like patches for your backpack or pins that light up or even pendants. <laughs> um, or some bracelets that have magnetic snaps, all kinds of cool stuff. So there are lots of glamorous things about the kit, but also as mentors, we have to spend some time sharing our skills with each other. So if you Jesse, this guy. <laughs> helped me um, get familiar with some of the new music apps on the iPads, and now I'm gonna show him some tricks for threading needles. So what are you guys working on? Oh, we are working on these things called shrinky dinks. I've never heard of them before, so I'm about to try it out. Really, you have to draw a picture of this thing on this thing that feels like sandpaper. Uh -huh. One side's like sticky and the other side's just rough. Okay. So draw the picture on the rough side. And then once that happens, stick it in this trusty microwave oven that hopefully does not explode like our hot glue done. And then, if you want to make it a keychain, punch a hole in it, unfortunately, put a rope through it, and you can attach it like a keychain. Something like that. Yeah. Cool. So I don't know what I'm going to make yet. I'm still thinking about it, but shrinky things. That's what I'm making. Tell me about Open Labs. <laughs> Open Labs is great. It's a time when teens and mentors alike figure out how to do complex things. Like this robot. Like this thing here. Erector set this robot? Erector or is this connects? It's in a, this is an erector set. Uh, it's very complex and hard for me to understand. In the absence of teens this afternoon, I am left to figure this out on my own. And uh, it is quite an experience. <laughs> yeah, so I've got these pieces, and they have to come together in an exact sequence. And this one, some teens made? Yeah, uh huh. One teen in particular really brought that thing together to the point where it's completely created and put together, but now I've uh, spent time coding it. Awesome.